Hello, you are watching Danielle Little. I am from thecubiclechick.com and I am doing videos from my book, Shine 10 Tips for Effective Work-Life Balance. I'm doing 10 of them. And right now we're on video number three. So if you haven't seen the previous two, you need to go on my YouTube site, youtube.com slash thecubiclechick and get caught up on the videos. But we are on tip number three from Shine, 10 Tips for Effective Work-Life Balance, and it is love what you do and do what you love. Now, I know this tip might seem a little weird because maybe you're not at that level yet. Maybe you're not doing something that you love doing career-wise, but I'm telling you from a person who knows firsthand, being able to like what it is that you do, being able to love your career can do wonders for your work-life balance. Let me just give you a little background story about me. I come from an HR background. I worked in HR for years and I was getting, starting to get burnt out in HR. I can't lie, I was making some pretty good money, but it was no longer a passion of mine. And I started the career blog, thecubiclechick.com, just as a hobby while I was working in HR. And the bottom fell out in 2009 and I got laid off. And so what I decided to do was I decided to take something which I was passionate about, which was blogging and writing about career issues and trying to make that into my job. And I will tell you, it was a long road because blogging, especially at that time, it was not a way that many people were making money. And so I struggled, but I'm telling you the struggle was so worth it because now I am actually doing something that I love to do, something that when I get up in the morning, I am passionate and excited about. And this is something that I want everybody, everybody who's watching this to be able to do. I know it's not easy, but it is something that can be obtainable and I'm telling you firsthand if I could do it you could do it too so what do I mean by love what you do and do what you love if it is something that you're passionate about maybe it's a hobby that you have maybe it's photography maybe it's video maybe you are really good at your hands and you make jewelry and this is something that you want to do full-time start making steps to do it full time. Maybe you start a little side hustle where you're doing things on the side to create more income, to create a buzz for what it is that you do. Whatever it is that you want to do, I want you to know that you can do it. And it can help you achieve work-life balance because when you are excited about what it is that you do for work, then guess what? People are excited for you and you're more excited in your personal life too. I mean, now that I love what it is I do, I think I'm a better mom. I'm right, I'm less stressed. I don't come home with the weight of my job on my shoulders because it's actually something that I love to do. So it is a part of work-life balance because even though it's a career section of your life, it transitions over to your personal as well. And it's very important for boundaries and balance in your life. So love what you do and do what you love. If you want some tips on how to transition to turning your hobby into something that you want to make a career of, make sure to go to thecubiclechick.com and search in the search bar for side hustles. There'll be some valuable information for you. I thank you very much for watching the video. And hey, I just almost forgot. If you want to download Shine 10 Tips for Effective Work-Life Balance, you can do so for free at thecubiclechick.com slash shine book. It'll be right there. It's easy to download. Just put in your email address and it'll be sent to you via PDF. And actually, we're going to transition to the next next video, which is tip number four, and that is important for scheduling downtime. That's tip number four, scheduling downtime. So we'll talk about that on the next video, and I hope to see you there. Bye.